Hi, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to get started with the wizard software, and we're going to look at the basics of laying out a basic mat, the kind of mat that will take care of the majority of framing that you'll be doing on an everyday basis. Um, and then in subsequent videos, we'll take a look at some more advanced things, some little fine details, and uh, things like that, including multiple openings, v-grooves, additional designs. Now, you're different from what you see here, depending on the age of your machine and the version that you're running. But all the basics are the same. Uh, it may just look a little different, and some things may be in different places. But all the basics are here, so it shouldn't be a problem. Now, the majority of the time, you'll be starting with a new mat design. So we'll just open that up. And here's the basic information. And really, it's a matter of taking a look at your work order and transferring the numbers from the work order to the screen here. Uh, we'll start with the opening size. And depending on your point of sale system, it may be labeled as the uh, site size. Uh, so we'll just enter that. Uh, let's say 10 and a half by 12 and 3 quarters. Now you'll notice here, oh, I'm sorry, that was 3 eighths. Now you'll notice here that I'm entering it in decimal form. That's purely out of habit, and I find it faster and easier to do that because I'm used to it. But as I tab through and go to the next field, you'll see that it automatically changes it to a fraction form. And that makes it very easy for you to look at your work order and compare them to make sure that you've entered the correct dimensions. Now we'll enter the borders. Uh, we'll just do three inches all the way. And once I hit tab, it automatically goes to the next field in all of the borders, top, sides, and bottoms. And once we do that, you'll see that the outside size is now filled in. It calculates it based on the opening size plus the dimensions of the mats, top, bottom, and sides. And at this point, it's a very good idea to compare this number to your work order and look at the frame size and make sure that they match up. And that's a good check to make sure you haven't accidentally uh, typed in a wrong number somewhere. And by default, it will be the template 101. That's just a regular rectangle. And in some sub subsequent videos, we'll take a look at some other templates. And the software def will default to a double layer mat and a quarter inch reveal. If you needed to change that, you can just put in a new new reveal, let's say uh, 3 16 and you'll see as you do that, that the drawing over here changes to reflect that. And also, any of these dimensions here where you see a little plus and minus, clicking the plus or minus will increase or decrease that amount by a sixteenth of an inch at a time. And for some things where you're sort of designing on the fly and just adjusting things to see what looks best, that can be very handy. Now also the number of layers, we can change that by just uh, changing that to 3. Again, you can use the plus or minus, doesn't matter. And the wizard will allow you to do up to 6 mat layers. And for each layer, you can come down here and adjust the reveals as you need to. So we now have a 3 16 reveal on the middle and a 3 8 on the bottom. Okay, And the mat layer number 1, that's the bottom mat. That's the one that's closest to the artwork. Layer number 2 is the middle. And layer number 3 is the top mat. And if you wanted a reverse bevel on any of those mat layers, you can just click the checkbox right here under the RB and when you do that that layer will now have a reverse bevel and you can kind of see that change over here on the drawing. 
4 is a shortcut if you wanted a reverse bevel on all layers. If you just click that little RB there, it'll automatically put it on all three of those. Now at this point, your basic mat is laid out. So you could click the uh, cut button. That will take you to the cut screen where you'll, where you'll actually cut the mat. Or you can just hit OK. And it takes you to this screen. And if there was anything else that you wanted to do with it, like add a V-groove or cut art or anything like that, this is where you do that. We'll look at that later. But assuming that this is all you want to do and everything looks good, you can now go to the cut screen by clicking the little blade over here uh, to take you to the cut screen. And this is what you'll see. And it will start by asking you to place the bottom mat face down. And you can change this in the defaults, but we strongly recommend that you start with the bottom mat first and cut that. This way, if there's any question at all, you can cut the bottom mat, you can put it on your artwork, and make sure everything looks good and the size is correct before you go on and cut the other two layers. If you started from the top and worked your way down, you would have cut all three layers before realizing that you may have made a mistake and that's going to cost you a lot in wasted time and materials. So that's basically it at this point. Um, we would just, uh, once your mat is in the machine, you would just hit cut and carry on. I won't be able to show this to you right now because this isn't hooked up to a machine. Um, but we can do that in person at some point. And for the most part, any mat that you cut, this part is the same regardless uh, whether it's three mats, double mat, multiple opening or not. Um, the big part is the software and designing there. And once you're done cutting, you can just X out of that and it'll take you back to the design screen. And if you're ready to start over, you can just exit that. We don't want to change or save that. And it'll take you right back here where you can start all over again with your next map. So that's all I have for you right now. Uh, that's the basics. That's enough to get started. And in some other videos, we'll start taking a look at some of the fine details and the other fun stuff that you can do with the wizard.